these are products that I would never recommend. Hair care is super subjective. Some people really enjoy heavy products. And some people really enjoy light products. Some people really like hard hold gels and hate soft hold gels. Whereas some of you really enjoy soft to medium hold gels and hate hard hold gels. And so in each category, you will see that I always have different recommendations based on the performance of the product. My personal hair's needs barely come in the way when I make recommendations to you. However, these are products that I would not recommend to anyone. But there's a huge caveat here. Everything that I'm mentioning in this video represents my own opinions, my own experiences and my own views. None of it should be misconstrued as fact. That being said, let's get into the video. The first brand that I'm talking about is Curlwana. A lot of you reached out to me to ask me for my opinion and to do a review on Curlwana products. So the brand sent me all of this many, many moons ago and they had reached out to me for a collaboration. But once I had spent enough time using the products, I realized that I couldn't go ahead because I simply did not like them and I didn't feel like I wanted to vouch for them. I felt like their leave-in conditioner and their gel was pretty nice. But when it comes to their shampoo, their conditioner and their hair mask, these three products do not get my stamp of approval and unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to recommend this to anyone. Curlvana is a new brand that has just stepped into curly hair care and so maybe with a little more time and a little more testing, if they could get people to test their products before they launch their products, I think that would really, really help the brand. One brand that used to do that was Just Herbs. Unfortunately, the next few products that I'm going to talk about are from Just Herbs. So these products were also sent to me in PR. We have the Castor and Black Onion Seed Shampoo, the Castor and Black Onion Seed Conditioner, and the Castor and Black Onion Seed Hair Mask. Unfortunately, all three products from this range do not get my stamp of approval and I will not be able to recommend them to anyone. If you look at all of these bottles, you'll notice that I've pretty much finished all of the product in them. I have maybe 20% of the shampoo left. I have maybe 20% of the conditioner left. And the mask as well, I've given this so many chances. And what upsets me the most is that Just Hubs is a brand that I absolutely love. There are so many products of theirs that I keep on recommending. The Kumuda conditioner is one of my favorites. I have used so many bottles of this and I continue to keep this in my arsenal because I feel like a lot of people would really enjoy this conditioner. Also for people who do not like heavy products and they prefer light products and they also need slip, this conditioner works really well. This conditioner has this uncanny way of going through fairy knots like a dream. Now, I totally get that slip is super duper subjective. But when I use this conditioner, I just did not like it. It did not give me any slip. And so this is a conditioner that I would not recommend to you guys. Next, let's talk about the shampoo. This shampoo, I just did not like. The fragrance is way too much. There is a line that we have to draw. People love beautiful, fragrant smelling hair products because all of us want our hair to smell great. But there is a huge difference between fragrances that one would find pleasing and fragrances that one would find simply revolting. And sadly, the shampoo is that. In its stead, I would recommend the Lush Methi Shikakai shampoo. This shampoo I really like. I have multiple travel size bottles of it. I really, really enjoy this shampoo. The Lush shampoo has like a soft, mild, very natural-esque fragrance. Very in line with the branding of Just Herbs. But this new one, sorry, it did not cut it. I've used so much of it. Honestly, I can't wait to just finish the bottle and get rid of this completely. Lastly, let's talk about the hair mask. This hair mask, I just did not like. If you're a regular here and you've watched my channel, you know that the Shirole Pam hair mask has been like a constant that I've recommended for... I think years now. They've rebranded the entire mask and now it is called the Amla and Shank Pushpi Moisturizing Hair Mask. It is color safe and it is girl friendly. Considering they did such a fabulous job with this mask, I expected their next launch to be even better. Unfortunately, when it comes to this mask, I was very, very underwhelmed and I was really, really sad because the brand has such a great track record when it comes to curly hair products that I was expecting my mind to be blown by this mask. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. 
the mask has no slip what i don't understand is their first few launches the slip of both of these were really nice so then my question is what happened with these products where is the slip you know what just hubs used to do this thing where before these to launch any products they used to do like this crowd sourcing thing where they would send their users their customers like three four samples of a product we could try the product we could see if we like the product and then they would finalize the formulation that way you know you'll feel like you know you are part of the formulation process and also the brand gets feedback with regard to whether people like the product or whether they don't now the thing is i don't know if they did that with this range very very sadly with a very heavy heart because i'm so passionate about the other products from this brand i have to say that this new range does not get my approval and i will not recommend it if any of the brands are watching please don't feel bad because I get that it's not possible to nail your formulations every single time, right? Sometimes you'll go right, sometimes you'll go wrong. But if there are safeguards in place where you allow people to test the products and help you understand if the product's going to be a hit or not and then go into launch, that way it works like a win-win for everybody. Next, we have the Bella Vita hair mask. Now, you've seen me talking about this product before in a video. I simply said that you know what? I would not recommend this product. But at that point I felt like my opinions and my experiences were very harsh and so I didn't really want to share them. But then when I saw the comment section and I realized that my experiences with the product have been mirrored by you guys as well, I felt like yeah, maybe then I need to talk about it. So the reason I did not want to recommend the product to anyone is because every single time I tried to detangle with the hair mask, I lost so much hair. It had absolutely no slip. And when I tell you that when I saw the amount of hair that I lost while detangling, I was completely shocked. In my two whole years on CV, this has never, ever, 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 ever happened to me. I have tried out so many products, and yes, some products have less slip, some products have more slip. But then, even at products that didn't really have slip. I never had this amount of hair fall. The hair just kept falling and kept falling and kept falling. I lost clumps and clumps of hair. If you go back to a reel that I posted on Instagram where I spoke about my recent haircut, in the description you'll see that I said that I had a bad reaction to a product. I lost a lot of hair. I flipped out and then I was like, "Hey, let me go get a haircut." I didn't really mention what the product was because I didn't want to alarm anyone because obviously I realized that the things that I say carry some weight right and I did not really want to badmouth the company based on you know a singular experience but then when I saw the comments and I realized that hey listen I'm not the only one who experienced this then I felt like okay fine then you know I was not the only one and I felt validated in my experiences and so basically what I'm trying to say is yes of course everyone's experience is totally subjective You might really enjoy a product that I dislike personally, but ultimately, when it comes to me, I have to be honest. I have to stick with my gut and simply say that this is a product that I would not recommend to anyone. The next product is from Exo Curls. This is their argan oil. It says it's from Morocco. It's hundred percent organic. It's cold pressed, especially for Indian curly hair. Get shiny, nourished, and frizz free curls. So this product I was sent in PR. Now this originally retails for 588 rupees. I'll be very very honest here. If I bought this with my own money and I spent 588 rupees and this came to me, I would be upset. Actually no, I don't think I would be upset. I think I would be mad. I would be really mad just based on the packaging. Let me explain why in 2020 when I first started my channel There were two and a half brands catering to curly hair in India, curly and wavy hair in India. But now that we're in 2022, we have so many brands now catering to our needs specifically. I feel like this is not going to cut it because it looks like the brand has not tried at all when it comes to their packaging. Exo Curls essentially used to make combs, right? So this is pretty much the first time that they're delving into product. In 2020. brands could come into the curly hair space and charge us an arm and a leg for product whereas now we're in 2022 where we have so many choices for product curly hair is not an underserved category in india anymore we have a lot of brands catering to us and so now 
having these price points when you're a new brand when you're just about getting into the product space the pricing will have to be a little more competitive because if i'm being super duper honest if i spent 588 rupees and this is the product that i received with this packaging on first glance only i would have said no i've been a reviewer for 2 years now right but all my life i've been a consumer and so when it comes to consumer psychology i think this is very important to understand me as a consumer let's say i pick up a new brand and this is the product this is one singular product that i bought from you if i don't like this product and this product does not impress me then this brand is dead in my books i will never ever you know go ahead and buy something else from the brand my opinion of the brand is tainted it is tarnished this is some advice for the brand so now in 2022 when there are so many brands with such amazing packaging with such amazing formulation with such great price points and such great quality unfortunately i don't think this cuts it all right so that was pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you're looking for more wavy and curly hair content feel free to check out these videos right here